Hello guys, Axer once again, and this is going to be an update on what am I going to do during E3 2014 week. So the first thing is, on this update is, that I'm going to, well one, I'm going to post my article of E3 2013 the year later. I finally finished finished the article, I'm just revising it, and then I'm going to post it on my website, and then I'll let you guys know, no, excuse me, <laughs> let you guys know when it's already up. Basically, I just summarize of what happened since E3 of 2013 all the way to now. Did gaming was good? Wasn't it bad? Did the company do a good thing or bad thing? I gave my thoughts about it and see what the impact in the gaming industry. Then, on the week of E3 2014, I'm going to do a lot of Twitter E3 2014 related. I've done this before. Basically, I would watch the conference and then I would just randomly tweet stuff on my Twitter. So, here's a warning for anyone who follows me on Twitter that in the week of E3 2014, that There'll be a lot of tweets. Maybe some random stuff. Maybe something interesting. I'll be tweeting anything related about E3 2014. So that's a warning because if you think what I'm doing is spamming your Twitter feed, I do apologize. But again, I get really excited when E3 2014, when E3 come, and it's no just no different on E3 2014. So I'll be watching the conference, and then I might be tweeting it at the same time. Alright, but, and also, for the first time, I'm going to do this. i never done this before. I didn't do this last year. But this year, for the first time, I'll be watching the conference. I do. I watched them before, Sony and Microsoft. But this time, not only am I going to watch the conference, but I'm also going to make some comments while I'm watching the conference. If I see something interesting... I'm going to say something about it. So basically my reaction while I'm watching the conference. And also, this time also, in 2014, Nintendo's going to be included. Yes, we know, everybody knows, Nintendo's not going to do a live conference once again. They didn't do one last year. They did a Nintendo Direct. But this year they're going to do, they make, they're making some improvement. With a digital event. I don't know what it is. But even with that. Yes. I will even make conference. And this time around. It will be part of the conference review. <laughs> and I'll explain that later. So not only I'm watching Microsoft. At 9am. Sony at 6. I'll be watching Nintendo's digital event. On the next day at 9. So once again. I'm watching three conference. And then. After the conference, well, I done this before last year. I give my thoughts about it. After the conference, I'll give a quick thoughts about the th- the conference. What cool about it? What's not so cool? And this time, I'm gonna be more <laughs> professional. Last year, I was with Microsoft press conference. I said, eh, interesting. But when it came to Sony, I was excited. Because I'm already, I'm a Sony guy, I, like I said that before. And what they showed me last year, like, anything is for the gamer. I was like, wow, that's so awesome. So, yes, this time I'm going to be more calm. I'll treat them equally. And that includes Nintendo. Yes, I'm also going to give my thoughts on Nintendo. Like a quick, maybe five minute thoughts of the conference. And then, like always, I've done this before. And there's no dif- uh, no difference for this year. Once I see all the three conferences, including Nintendo's digital event, I'm going to write my review. Last year, I only reviewed two conferences, Microsoft and Sony. Not so much for Nintendo, because all they did was a one-hour Nintendo Direct. Whoopee! Same old doing Nintendo Direct. So, I'm giving them a chance this year. It is still unfortunate, in my opinion, that they they didn't do a live conference. They decided to go to the same route again. Oh, we're just doing a digital event. But I know this time, there's going to be more interesting what's going to happen. 
They say they're going to do more than last year, so I'm going to give them a chance. So we'll see. Expect the review after the conference. And then, of course, the last thing is, also something new. Once E3 2014 is done, like the end of the week, but maybe Friday, I'm going to give my thoughts about E3 2014. I don't know whether it's going to be a written form or I'm just going to talk about it. I don't know yet. It's still a long way to go. We have, say, two, two to three weeks, so it's still a long time. So, anyway... Those are the updates, what I'm going to be doing on the week of E3 2014. So I can't wait for that one. I have heard rumors that they have a lot of things they're going to show. Hopefully, this time around, they'll give me more reason why to buy either a PlayStation 4, why support the Wii U, and what makes Xbox now awesome since they got rid of the Kinect. Alright, well, that's the update, and that's it for now. I'll see you guys later. Bye.